All right, I'm going to show you what I'm up to. So in case shit goes sideways, you get to see it. So I'll show you what I'm up to here. I'm going to dump uh, this big maple off this stem right here. It's leaning. I don't know if you can see it, but it's leaning straight over the shed and the, the old refrigerator bomb shelter. I'm going to try to back up, get you a good look at what, I'm, what i got going on here. So, it's leaning like this, straight sideways. Uh, most of the limbs, except for this one right here, are all going that way. This one here is out this side, which is going to help me. Uh, I'm going to try to fall it. Let's get everything out of the yard. If you can see these limbs out here next to the fire pit, going to try and dump it right there. So I got to get up on top of that old stump and uh, drop a face cut in it. Drop a face cut in it on this side here. Try and follow it across the lean this way. It's got a big, here I'll show you. It's got a big rotten spot in the bottom of it. It's not a simple tree, guys. So you can see, so I don't hook my feet. So you can see the big rotten spot in the bottom of it here. I'm gonna try and cut it just above that. Take my face cut out right here and drop it sideways. It's leaning that way. And I'm going to try and drop it across the lean. Hopefully if everything goes right, it's going to fall in between the fire pit and that little white fence right there, through there. Um, what I think is going to happen is it's going to start to go and it's going to tear out the wood on the high side and it's going to flop over like that. And I think it's if everything goes perfect, it falls right through there. I'm going to try and fall it there, but I think it's going to go there. And if the shit goes bad, it's going to go over there. So, like I said, I want to get this on video just in case shit goes sideways. This is a complicated tree. Uh, I think I got enough fuel in the saw. Uh, I got a 25 on the saw. It won't fit all the way through it, so I might have to climb down on the bottom down here to finish out that face cut but we'll see we'll see it's uh there's barely any wind blowing and i got everything out of the yard right now so let's go ahead and try and dump it see what happens so at least if i get dead you guys get to see it on tv
right, so I left a bunch of holding wood on both sides. Starting to go. Let's see if I can just tickle it over from here. Hopefully it falls right across the, the face notch. It's going. I'm going to take a little more holdable out of the low side. The, uh, the, uh, I, I, I'm kind of nervous about getting down in there in that notch, but there's a little too much holding wood on the low side. I don't want it to rip out and hold down there. Uh, I'd rather it release on the low side and hold on the top. Damn it. That uh, I know that kind of looked like a monkey fucking a football, but <laughs> show you what happened. Which is, it went kind of where I thought it was going to go, which was right over the top of the fire pit there. You know, I was kind of shooting for up here. It went right there. It was leaning hard out there. Um, and from the low side, that. You know, that cut was above my head, so you can see I left, you know, a bunch more holding wood on the top. And when I went back in on that set that last time, I cut some of the holding wood off the bottom, left less there. Uh, so she went right here. Perfect. Just like, uh, just like you read about. Um, like I said, that tree was hanging hard out that way. It had that big limb hanging out there. All the bones were hanging out that way. Um, but uh, yeah, that went that went great. Went, went uh, I you know actually uh, I had a tree guy in to climb and pull down this one, uh, climb this one and chunk it down. I've been up it a few times. It's leaning out kind of over there. And uh, I asked him to come. He said, oh, we'll just pull it over. And I told him I was going to take out these two. And he said, well, you know, make sure you pull that one over. It's leaning so hard that way. He doesn't, didn't trust it. And I said, well, I think, it, think what it's going to do is it's going to start to fall like this. It's going to tear out the holding wood and roll over and do exactly that. So it did pretty much exactly what I thought I was going to do. Um, I know that looked uh, just as hard as it was. You can see the rotten wood in the bottom there. Uh, I got above most of the rotten wood. As you can see that big rotted spot, you can see where it came through on the top. So I tried to cut it up high enough to where I would have some good wood. You can see the holding wood was all good. Uh, this will some of this will become a saw log and most of it will become firewood so yeah it went pretty good i know that didn't look great especially with the saw stall and i'm not exactly sure what's going on with that 272 i apologize for that but um as you can see you know that's you know it's really high above my head down there on the low side i didn't want to get stuck in there in case it was all rotted and it just fucking flopped over on top of me so um, that was one reason why I did, didn't want to stay down on that low side very much. But uh, yeah, it's down, safe. Went right where, 
right where I thought it was going to go, not where I was trying to get it to go. I was trying to get it to go up there. Actually, if some of those top branches nicked that tree house. That would have been a perfect drop. Um, but it did exactly what I thought. It started to go over and it ripped out the high wood and it flopped over and did just what I thought. So, um, yeah, we lived through it. Um, I tried to, uh, I wish I could have videoed the, I tried to video the small one, the small one. It's just, it was just as big, but the first one. And I had to rip down and rip off a big chunk of it. And it was just awesome videos. You know, the 272 was above my head up here. And I was like tearing down through it. And it was just spewing, you know, chips all over me. Uh, I don't have a hard hat on because no danger of anything falling on my head. Um, ear protection. I really was scared of how that tree was going to come apart. And I wanted to be able to hear it. Um, so, you know, when you're in those situations, you got to make sure that you use your brain and not listen to everybody else about what you do. I was really, I wanted to hear when that tree started to release um, because I didn't know what it was going to do. And Maple's famous for barber chairing. So, um, I didn't know I, I wasn't really scared if you guys look at this tree wasn't really scared of it barber chairing because you can see um, you know the knots in here and you got the, all that funky grain there I didn't really think this tree was gonna rip in half um, but I did I was wondering with that big rot spot that's right over my saw there if it was just gonna explode because it was hanging straight out that way with all its weight and I was worried if the bottom side, if it was all rotted out, it could have just crushed and just exploded and flopped over. So I was really worried if that was going to happen. So I needed to make sure that I could hear what was going on. Um, and uh, really, it went perfect. So, you know, where it is right now is perfect. This is, uh, so it's off now. This one's going to get climbed and chunked apart the house is right behind me here so you can see the house right here this one's going to get climbed and chunked apart or he thinks that he can run a line up in there and use my bobcat and actually just pull this one over and drop it right out here um that's great if they can do it um, it's, I don't know if you can see it, but it's leaning hard like this and it's leaning out just in front of the uh, engineering place next door. So it's leaning hard that way. It's got all the weight on the backside, all the bones are on the backside. So it's going out there. So it's not going to fall on the house, but it wants to fall kind of right through the V of that tree, but he thinks that. He can run a line, he can send his, have his climber rope up through the line, uh, through the V way up in there, run a line down out here, hook it to my bobcat, put in his face cut this way, start to pull it over, cut the back cut, and yank it over with the bobcat and drop it right out here. So, you know, that's what's going on. If I was gonna do that one, I would have to climb it and take it apart from the top, which I'm getting old. And it's just not going to happen anymore. So see how much time I got on this video. So I got, uh, I don't know, 21 minutes. So since I got 21 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and leave this up here. And I'm going to buck this apart a little bit. So I can see down to there I'm gonna buck this apart into some logs and just fill up the fill up like another 10 minutes of video
It's actually stuck to be a dare to start for me. I'm getting older.
So that's all our fun for today through the chain. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you see the chain toss there. So that's it. Uh, we lived through it. Oh, getting getting dark. All right. Uh, hit like, subscribe. Thanks.